press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello students, how are you all? Hope all are you fine and safe. Okay, in the last class we have learned about the first part of the uh, your sixth lesson that is variety of food and today's class we are going to learn the continued part of this lesson that is in page number 60. Let's begin this open page number 60. That is play with the play the game. With the help of your friends, write the names of the food items on small pieces of paper. Seek the picture of picture of an animal that you like on one box and the picture of a plant that you like on the other another box. Okay? Distribute the bits of paper among all, put them into the suitable box. Okay? Here is an activity. You have to make small pieces of paper and you have to write the food items. And what you do that is uh, make two boxes that is uh, one for uh, plant sources that is for plant you have to paste a picture of plant and the another box is for animal sources so you have to write the uh, so, uh, sorry paste the pictures of animal understood and you, ha you already wrote the names of the different types of foods. So, you have to distribute them to which is belong to which box. If uh, you, you will write as roti, roti is come from Joa. Joa is a plant. So, you have to put that paper in the plant box. And if you write fish, so fish is a food item and it is a animal source. So, you have to write a food uh, sorry, you have to write a fish in that uh, what animal box. Okay, this is an activity for you. You have to do yourself. And observe the quantity of food eaten by young people and elders. So, there is a difference between the consumption of the food from ages, from the, among different ages. Okay, in younger ages, we are all younger now. So, we have to uh, consume lot of food because we have to gain more much of much energy so we have to what uh, apply the that energy on different kinds of works so we have to consume lots of eat but elders elders cannot digest the uh, heavy food do you know because the digestive system will uh, decreases its capacity of one ages. So, elder compared to youngers, elders can eat only small amount of uh, food. Okay, this is the difference. And there is an activity, observe the children of different classes eating during the midday meals in your schools. Okay. Uh, write your observations here. Observe the children of different classes eating during the midday meals in our schools. Okay. Uh, there is a scheme which is given by a government that is midday meal scheme. Okay. In the afternoon they will provide the uh, meal for children. So you have to collect the information about that and you have to write here. And know this, people eat according to their age and the nature of the work they do. The quantity of food eaten by boys and girls of the same age differs. Yes, as I told earlier. So, difference is a lot of difference is there between males and females. Because males work hard, females also work hard. But compared to male. Female can't do such things like uh, by using uh, what uh, pickaxe, uh, sorry, that axe like this. So, male will get lot of energy so that he have to consume a lot amount of food compared to the female. So, that is the difference. And open page number 61, that is what is the food of a baby? Here, there is a picture in which there is a baby, small baby is drinking what? That is milk. So, all the babies are drink only milk, right? So, you have to write milk. 
milk is the main and complete food for a child yes we all know that milk is the main and complete food for the child because milk contain lot of proteins lot of antibodies lot of minerals lipids like this so milk is a complete food for the children and can you live drinking milk only no because we are already grown we are not child anymore so we have to uh, eat lot of food so only milk we can't um, fulfill fulfill our hungriness so we have to use not only milk but all other sources okay you have learned in a previous class that animals also need food like you some animals are given below write their food in the space given yes like us animals also need food so you have to write what are the uh, food items which are consumed by different animals okay first one that is dog okay what will dog can eat yes dog can eat bones and rices and also rotis so it can be both veg and non veg right yes dog can eat both here i will write you dog bones rice like this okay second one cat cat can eat drink cat can drink only milk actually in my home there is a cat which is drink oil yeah this is a happens in our uh, this is a recent uh, recently happening uh, incident in our home that is cat will drink a lot of oil and cow cow can eat grass cow is a very domestic animal so cow can eat grass okay next monkey monkey can eat fruits vegetables right monkey always eat bananas and different types of fruits okay monkeys are eat fruits and next hen hen can eat only grains and small sorry small insects so hen can eat small insect grains like this bandicoot bandicoot also eat fruits and vegetables and next mosquito mosquito sucks our blood right mosquito can't eat uh, these fruits uh, apple uh, fruits uh, and uh, vegetables like that mosquito is a sucking insect which can only suck our blood so don't bite on by mosquitoes because very mosquitoes are very dangerous so you have to use mosquito coils in your home and lizard lizard can eat small insect and bear bear can eat dog fruit and honey so these are the favorite dishes for uh, bear so bear can eat jack fruit like this fruits and uh, fruits and honey and tiger tiger can eat yes flesh of the other animal or meat okay tiger is a non vegetarian it can eat only flesh or meat of the other animal and next 11th and hawk hawk is a yes it is also uh, what eat only flesh and snake snake will eat rats frogs like this and fish can eat yes fish can eat small plants and small insects in the water and small small worms and deer deer can eat grass frog can eat grass and bison can also eat grass observe the quantity of food eaten by a cow and a calf on the same way observe the food of quantity of food eaten by other animals write the names of the domestic animals you know and the food given to them so the name of the animal food given so can you name the domestic animals okay what do you mean by domestic animals domestic animals are the one which are what live in our home okay like cow dog hen and uh, what ox like this these are all domestic animals so 
uh, cow can eat grass like this in the uh, sorry the animals which we can uh, keep in our home are called as domestic animals and so there is an activity in page number 63 play the game with the help of your teacher go to the playground with your friends and stand in a circle each of you receive a chit from your teacher which has the name of names of animals and their food let each one stick the chit on the shirt when the teacher says move start moving in the circle when the teacher says stop one who has the picture of the animal should stand near the other who has the picture of its food those who miss to do so will be out of the game others will continue the game so this, that is a game when you come to a school you have to play with your teacher okay and so there is a picture of that here know this animals which eat plants and their products are called as herbivorous animals animals which eat other animals and their products are called as carnivorous animals animals which eat both plants and animals and their products are called as omnivorous animals in the second chapter or uh, okay in the second chapter i told about this omnivorous carnivorous and herbivorous right yes there are three types of animals in our earth those are herbivorous carnivorous and omnivorous okay Herbivores are the animals which eats only grass or which only depends on plant sources for their food. Okay? Sasegal in the Bartakanta, Padartagal Mele Matra, you come a Avalamana Girta, some food goes kara. Avalana no herbivores in the curriculum. Example cow, deer, like this rabbit like this and uh, carnivores carnivores are which eat other animals and their products are called as carnivores carnivores are purely non-veg they can eat only the flesh or meat of other animals so the food of the carnivores is depends on other animals or animal source are called as carnivorous animals so examples are tiger lion so these are the carnivorous animals and next omnivorous animals which eat both plants and animals and their products are called as omnivorous so these are the animals which can eat both plants and animal food sources of food items so example is man man can eat both sorry man can eat both what plant sources and as animal sources so these are the three classification in the uh, consumers of food cycle okay and there is an activity here is a problem the animals are tied with a thread to the food they ate as the thread is knotted it is difficult for them to find their food can you help them to find their food so here is an activity in which uh, a rope or or uh, thread is tied between the animal and its food unfortunately there are some of the uh, three or more uh, for it three or more animals and uh, their foods so these are all are tied in a thread but they are knotted so you have to release that knot and make a pair that is animal and its food okay you have to do that by yourself and open page number 65 that is here are the pictures of few animals there are three bags in the middle divide these animals on the basis of their food habits then draw a line to the bag related to animals so there are three bags in the middle of this book uh, this 
box so and there are so many um, what animals are there you have to classify them as uh, herbivorous omnivorous and carnivorous and you have to get a uh, sorry you have to write a line okay first one is hen hen is omnivorous or carnivorous or herbivorous yes hen is omnivorous because hen can eat insects hen can eat worms and hen can also eat grains so hen is a omnivorous okay understood and next one there, there is a donkey donkey is purely yes donkey is purely herbivorous because it can only eat grass so donkey is a herbivorous okay next there is a tiger tiger is a purely carnivorous because it is depend on other animal sources for its food okay and lion lion is also carnivorous and there is an owl owl is owl is omnivorous owl can eat both fruit and the flesh so owl is a omnivorous and there is a monkey monkey can eat uh, only uh, plant products that is it belongs to herbivorous okay and next there is a lizard lizard can eat only insects so it will be a carnivorous lizard is a carnivorous animal and uh, there is a man man is omnivorous as i told earlier man is omnivorous because it, he depends both on plant and animal sources for its for his food and elephant elephant is a pure herbivorous elephant is very large in size but it is a herbivorous so that it can eat only a plant sources and um below that elephant there is an ox ox is a herbivorous it purely depends on plant sources that is grass and below sorry below that there is a cat cat is a omnivorous it can eat both plants and animal sources and there is a deer deer is a herbivorous yes deer can eat only grass and there is a frog sorry there is a dog dog is also omnivorous dog can eat both plants and animal sources so dog is a omnivorous and there is a frog what will frog can eat yes frog can eat small insects worms and also frog can eat insect uh, sorry frog can eat small small plants so it belongs to omnivorous okay this is this is your activity okay till now we are completed hope you understood this lesson okay uh, please complete all those work i have given to you um when your school opens you have to show that to you for your teacher okay okay let's call it as a day thank you